All right, so the next time you rent a car, you'll likely get the same question as the last time. Yes, should you buy rental car insurance? The answer is it really depends on multiple factors. So we're bringing in Rhonda Walker with the factors that you should consider. You might think your credit card or auto insurance covers your rental, but that's not the whole story. Consumer Reports reveals the crucial questions to ask before your next rental. Sean Beasley spends a lot of time on the road. I rent a car probably about 20 times a year. As for insurance for all those rentals, he says he's covered. I don't get insurance because my insurer, my vehicle insurer, automatically um, offers us rental car insurance. He says he pays his insurer a monthly fee for the rental coverage included with his policy. Both auto insurance and credit cards can have pretty significant limitations when it comes to car rentals. And that can include what kind of cars they'll cover, for how long, and even in what countries. Rental car insurance can be expensive, sometimes an extra $50 per day. When does adding it to the rental make sense? If you only have liability insurance on your own car, you'll need to get a separate policy for the car rental in case there's damage to it in the event of a crash. Here are some guidelines to help you. Decide if extra coverage is right for you. Is the rental car fancier than your car? Some credit card rental insurance and personal auto policies won't cover certain car types or classes, like large sport utility vehicles or luxury cars. Are you renting in a foreign country? Allstate, Geico, Farmers, State Farm, and Progressive say that your auto insurance coverage extends only to car rentals in the U.S., and Canada. The same goes for rental insurance offered by most credit card companies. Finally, if you're renting an RV, a cargo van, or a moving truck, these vehicles are usually not covered under standard auto or credit card insurance policies. And if you decide to add extra insurance, consider adding up to three types. Collision damage waiver, which covers damage to the car in the case of an accident. Loss damage waiver, which protects you from theft and damage to the car. And liability coverage, which covers you if you are found legally responsible for property damage or for injuring someone while driving the rental. Terms might be slightly different depending on the rental car agency. And if you're running a car for work, check with your employer to understand what's covered and what's not, since your personal insurance and credit cards likely won't provide any insurance for these types of rentals. I'm Rhonda Walker. Back to you. All right. Pretty helpful. Thanks, Rhonda. Appreciate it. By the way, you can snap the QR code at the bottom of your screen, and it will take you to the Consumer Reports section of ClickOnDetroit.com, and you can see all of Rhonda's recent reports on the best and the worst car rental agencies.